If you are suffering from excessive vaginal discharge, there is heaviness in your lower abdomen and intermenstrual spotting is there. Also, you feel fatigue and sometimes during intercourse, there is spotting or bleeding. Then maybe you are suffering from cervicitis. What is cervicitis? If there is inflammation in your cervix, then it is called cervicitis. And what is cervix? Cervix is the lower end, even the narrower end of the uterus. So in today's video, I am going to tell you each and every detail about cervicitis. Hello everyone, myself Dr. Kanchan Sharma and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a qualified Ayurveda gynecologist and let's start this video. But don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get all the latest notifications. So what are the causes? Number one is infection, whether it is bacterial or viral. Other causes tampon allergy and condom allergy. And I have already told you about the symptoms that backache, lower abdominal pain or intermenstrual spotting, fatigue and spotting or bleeding during the intercourse. These are the symptoms and with the symptoms when you go to your gynecologist then he or she definitely uh, will advise you some tests. So they are very important definitely you should go for test. They are just for awareness actually doctor has to rule out whether there is any chance of cervical cancer or it is just cervicitis. So definitely do these tests. What are these tests? Maybe doctor will advise you ultrasound, maybe pap smear uh, maybe colposcopy, sometimes culture also. So first I am going to talk about the modern treatment. In modern science they will give you antibiotics for infection, some NSAIDs and some uh, vaginal pessaries. Sometimes if cervicitis is uh, very much uh, chronic then they advise also for electrocautery or cryotherapy. But these are costly uh, methods, everyone can't afford this. So now let's talk about the Ayurveda treatment. Before telling you the Ayurveda treatment, there are three tips. You must follow these three tips. So first tip is when you are taking Ayurveda medicine, don't go for sexual intercourse. Number two tip is take proper treatment from an Ayurveda gynecologist or Ayurveda physician. And number three is avoid very, very sour food and all the hot and spicy and fried food. So before telling you the treatment, let me just tell you that cervicitis is recurrent and it reoccur again and again. It is very stressful for patient. So here strongly I want to say that Ayurveda is the ultimate treatment for you and with the blessings of Ayurveda, definitely you will see the results. So and every treatment is natural. So here I am going to tell you some generalized treatment but take under the guidance of Ayurveda, gynecologist or physician. So take Trifla Gugul two tablets thrice in a day after half an hour of your meal. Take Kishore Gugul two tablet twice in a day after half an hour of your meal and Pushya Nukchun one TSF or half TSF after one hour of your breakfast and dinner. This is the treatment. Now let's talk about a very effective therapy that is Yoni Pichu. So for Yoni Pichu, you need Jatyadi oil. This is a medicated oil and it is very very effective for healing wounds or any kind of rash or lacerations. So it is very effective for cervicitis also. But how you have to perform this? Take a cotton ball and now dip for 10 minutes in Jatyadi oil. After 10 minutes, uh, take out this cotton ball and put into the vagina, the inside of your vagina. And after half an hour, just remove it. This is the procedure. It is very simple. Do this on alternate day and for one to two months try this. This is really really effective. Not only it will treat your cervicitis but it is very good for your uterus also. So try this. Try all the medicines and definitely you need guidance of an Ayurveda doctor. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching my video.